Samsung has been facing a lot of criticism recently due to the significant delay in rolling out the One UI 7.0 update for older Galaxy phones. This delay, which has already stretched to four months, has left many users frustrated and concerned about the future of Samsung's software updates. However, there might be a silver lining on the horizon. Despite the setbacks with One UI 7.0, Samsung could still manage to release One UI 8.0 on time, according to new information from a reliable source. The delay in One UI 7.0 had many, including some of us at Samobile, worried that it might have a domino effect, pushing back the release of One UI 8.0 as well. After all, if Samsung is struggling to deliver the current update, it's reasonable to assume that the next one could face similar delays. But according to initial information shared by the well-known Timster Ice Universe, at universities, One UI 8.0 might arrive sooner than expected. While the tipster didn't provide an exact release timeline, this suggests that Samsung could avoid the same four to six month delay that played One UI 7.0 after the stable release of its base Android version. Google is planning to release the stable version of Android 16, the foundation for One UI 8.0 in late Q2 2025. If Samsung stays on track, we could see One UI 8.0 rolling out sometime in Q3 2025. This would be a significant improvement over the current situation with One UI 7.0, which has left many Galaxy users waiting far longer than anticipated. Of course, this is all based on early information, and there's always the possibility of last-minute delays. But for now, it's a promising sign that Samsung is working to get back on schedule with its software updates. Now let's talk about what Android 16, the operating system that One UI 8.0 will be based on, brings to the table. Google has packed a lot of exciting new features into this update, many of which will likely be integrated into Samsung's One UI 8.0. One of the standout additions is a centralized photo picker for all apps. This feature will make it easier for users to manage and share photos across different applications, streamlining the process and improving the overall user experience. Another major improvement is the introduction of health records, which will allow users to store and access their medical information directly on their devices. This could be a game changer for those who rely on their smartphones to manage their health data. Additionally, Android 16 brings enhanced audio sharing capabilities using Bluetooth LE audio, making it easier to share audio with multiple devices simultaneously. This could be particularly useful for group listening scenarios, such as watching a movie with friends or family. For those who use foldable phones or tablets, Android 16 offers better support for these devices with improvements to how apps are displayed and function on larger, more versatile screens. This is great news for Samsung, given its strong focus on foldable technology. The update also includes better support for vertical text, which could be a boon for users who frequently work with languages that use vertical writing systems, such as Japanese or Chinese. Have you ever taken a photo, only to find strange lines ruining the shot? That's exactly what's frustrating Samsung Galaxy S25 users right now. Many have reported an issue where their photos show unwanted horizontal or vertical lines, especially in low light settings. This problem, known as banding, makes images look unnatural and has become a major complaint on Reddit and Samsung forums. Even the high-end Galaxy S25 Ultra with its impressive 200 megapixel camera isn't safe from this issue. Users have noticed that when they capture images in night mode, the photos sometimes develop light or dark streaks. Some describe them as thick, discolored lines appearing under strong lighting or high contrast. Interestingly, these lines don't show up when using expert raw mode or third-party camera apps, which suggests that the problem is tied to Samsung's image processing rather than a hardware defect. One of the first reports of this issue came from a Galaxy S25 user who shared their experience online. They noticed that in certain photos, a thick line with a different color appear quite often. This raised concerns about whether the issue was caused by software or hardware. Many other users confirmed experiencing the same glitch and became clear that this wasn't an isolated problem. Tech reviewers have tested different ways to reduce the banding, and one solution seems to work for some users. Setting the shutter speed to 30 seconds in pro mode has been effective in removing the white bands. Another user suggested reducing the intensity of post-processing by setting it to medium, but this fix doesn't work for everyone. The good news is that Samsung has acknowledged the problem and is working on a fix. A company spokesperson confirmed that an update is rolling out this week to address various camera issues, including image stabilization and post-processing adjustments. However, it's still unclear whether this update will completely eliminate the banning problem or if further improvements will be needed. It's common for newly released smartphones to have software bugs, and most of them get fixed through updates over time. The Galaxy S25's banning issue doesn't seem to affect every unit, but it's frustrating for those who have encountered it. 
What's reassuring is that Samsung has acted quickly to resolve the matter, rather than leaving users in the dark. Interestingly, some Galaxy S25 users have also reported overheating issues, although there's no confirmation yet on whether the latest update will fix this problem as well. The device has only been out for a week and two major issues have already surfaced. While Samsung has been quick to address the camera glitch, users are still waiting to see if overheating is also on their radar. Despite these early setbacks, Samsung's quick response shows that they are committed to improving the user experience. Software updates are an essential part of modern smartphones and manufacturers often fine tune features based on real world usage. The big question is, should Samsung have caught this issue before launch? Some users feel that a flagship device should not have such noticeable bugs at release, while others understand that no phone is perfect on day one. What's your take? Should Samsung have done better testing, or is this just part of the usual early release experience? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more updates. Have you ever wondered how thin a smartphone can really be without compromising its performance? Well, Samsung's upcoming Galaxy S25 Edge might just have the answer, but there's a twist. The Galaxy S25 Edge is expected to be a sleek competitor to Apple's upcoming iPhone 17 Air. Both devices are set to impress with their thinness, but just how thin can they get while maintaining all the features we come to expect from high-end smartphones? Apple's iPhone 17 Air is rumored to be around 6.25 millimeters thick, and Samsung's Galaxy S25 Edge could be even slimmer at 6.4 millimeters, but some reports suggest it could go even thinner, as low as 5.8 millimeters. And it's not just about how thin these phones are. Think about this. OnePlus is gearing up to launch the Open 2, which is expected to be only 4 millimeters thick when unfolded. Yes, a foldable phone that's thin. But let's get back to the Galaxy S25 Edge, which has generated a lot of buzz for its performance in early benchmarks. Recently, the Galaxy S25 Edge appeared on Geekbench under the model number SMAS937U. For those who might not know, Geekbench is a popular benchmarking tool used to measure a phone's performance. It tests things like the processor's capabilities, graphics, and overall speed with higher scores generally meaning smoother performance, faster multitasking, and better gaming experiences. The first results for the Galaxy S25 Edge were a bit of a mixed bag. In the single-core test, the phone scored 3,005 points, and in the multi-core test, it achieved 6,945 points. But new results have come in, and they show a different story. The latest benchmark tests show the Galaxy S25 Edge scoring 2,806 in single-core performance and 8,416 in multi-core performance. So, while it performs slightly worse in single-core tasks, it performs significantly better in multi-core tests, which is great news for multitaskers and gamers. However, it's important to note that the device is still not official, and these are early test results, so we should take them with a grain of salt. Aside from its performance, the Galaxy S25 Edge is expected to come packed with impressive features. The phone will likely sport a 200 megapixel main camera, making it an excellent choice for photography enthusiasts. For selfies, it's expected to feature a 12 megapixel front camera. The display will offer an LTPO panel with a 120 hertz refresh rate and an eye-watering 2,600 nits of peak brightness. If that doesn't sound bright enough, I don't know what does. For durability, the Galaxy S25 Edge will feature an armor aluminum frame and Corning Gorilla Glass Victus 2, so you can expect it to withstand some accidental drops and scratches. Under the hood, the device will be powered by 12GB of RAM and UFS 4.0 storage, making it fast and capable of handling large files and apps. It will also support Wi-Fi 7, Bluetooth 5.4, and USB-C 3.2, ensuring fast data transfer and seamless connectivity. When it comes to charging, you can expect 25-watt charging speed, 